Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Partila here, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to build a vile mushroom farm in Terraria. Now, if you want to build a vicious mushroom farm, it's the exact same thing as this, but I'm just making it with the vile mushrooms because that's what I have the supplies for. So the vicious mushrooms and the vile mushrooms are the same thing. It just depends whether or not you have crimson or corruption in your world. It just so happens that I'm in a crimson world but I'm gonna build the build that you would use in a corruption world. And so because of that, I'm gonna surround the box with wood to not let either my own spread into each other and just to kind of keep them separate. But nonetheless, the same principle applies for whichever type of mushroom farm you wanna build, all right? And so in order to do this, you're gonna need wood or whatever kind of outline you wanna make for your box or for your structure. I just prefer the box, it's easy and simple. And you can always spice it up later. You're gonna need some dirt that's obviously gonna grow the mushrooms on it and you're gonna need to make sure you have crepe seed or crimson seeds in order to turn it into this red or purple type of block here that's what's gonna allow it to grow on as you can see up here in the top left of my screen there's already a vicious mushroom growing on that red block up there so that's essentially what it's gonna look like and then if we're gonna make things a bit more fancier to make it a little bit automatic we're gonna to have to have wiring and actuators as well as conveyor belts so that way we don't have to do as much work and we can just let all the mushrooms come right to us all right so the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is make sure we take our wood blocks and make a box around the structure. Alright, so after you've made yourself a box structure here, you're going to go ahead and take your conveyor belts. You can use just one, either clockwise or counterclockwise, but I'm going to use bolts that way uh, I can make things a little bit more symmetrical. So you're going to start all the way on the left and build all the way across until you reach a good middle point. Obviously it's going to be dependent on the size you want to make your farm. It's just how the guy decided to make it. And I'm not going to measure it to be exact because I think it's fine. But you know what? Maybe I will. Maybe we will. We'll actually go ahead and we'll measure it just because we can. Turn the ruler on and we'll see how many of them we got. 34 and 31. So, one, two, three. Alright, just like that. Things should be even. Go ahead and measure one more time. 34 and 34. Okay, so once you've found a good even point for your blocks, so we'll go ahead and turn that ruler right back off. And this is going to be my collection point, so I'm just going to end up standing right here and all the mushrooms are going to come flying to me. So after we've done this, we're going to go ahead and take our dirt blocks. And we're going to build one block above. That way there's going to be space for the vile mushrooms to travel along on the conveyor belts. And we're going to go all the way across. I'm going to leave I'm going to leave a gap here. So I'll just go across just so I can do that. I'm going to leave a gap there. That way I have a, a tunnel that I can kind of fly up and down to get access to this collection point. And then you're going to go ahead and do the exact same thing, but we're going to go one layer up and follow this process all the way to the top. But make sure that while you're doing this, you're using your crop seeds and you are cropping the grass. Depending on how many you have, it's obviously going to depend on how much grass that you turn to this purple kind. If it's during a blood moon, you can actually buy these seeds from the dryad, which is going to be very helpful in terms of collecting a lot of them as opposed to collecting them more naturally in the world because it takes a long time to get these seeds. So we'll do this all the way to the top and then we'll come right back. Okay, so we should eventually arrive at something that looks similar to this layout that I have right here right now. There's going to be a bunch of different rows all set up with the crepe grass growing on it. I didn't have a full amount of seeds to grow the whole thing, but luckily the grass spreads once you place it, and so eventually the whole rows will be filled. As you can see, there are already vile mushrooms starting to grow on a bunch of the different rows here. It's actually also important to note that you can make this look however you want to look. You know, it doesn't need to look like mine. If you want to expand it bigger, if you want to expand it uh, you know, top bottom or left to right, you can do that. You could come down here, you could come down a few more blocks and make a little storage space under here. You know, and I'm sure these are some things that like I'm going to do, but this is just the, the general premise of how to make a vile mushroom farm or a vicious mushroom farm. I want you to make it, you know, your own. You know, make it fancy, you know, use the nice blocks, but this is just how to make the farm itself. So when you're at this point in time, you're going to come and take your wiring with your actuators. You're going to make sure you have it on placement mode with the actuators and the wire. And you're going to place all the way across, across every single layer. We're going to make sure we actuate it all the way down to the bottom on both sides. Alrighty, so after you guys have gone ahead and made all of your rows and actuated and wired up everything, it should look something like this. I went ahead and extended the sides a little bit and added a little bit of a bottom part that I was talking about. 
just so that way it looks a bit nicer. I can light up the farm a bit more as well so it's not as dark. You're gonna go ahead and take your wiring again and connect them all together. I'm just gonna pick here because it doesn't really matter where you go. All the way down to the bottom and you'll do this on both sides. It doesn't really matter that they're not symmetrical, it's perfectly fine. And then you'll wire them in the middle here, make sure they're connected. And you'll bring them all the way down to the bottom. We're gonna either place a little switch or a lever. I like to use the lever just because it feels like I'm actually like pulling like a farm. I don't know. Just act like I feel like I'm activating it more than it is like with a tiny switch. And then of course you're gonna need some storage to put all your mushrooms in. And I'm gonna put the grand design in here, that way it gets out of our screen. I accidentally picked up two of the mushrooms, so I'm just gonna put them in here, but we'll add that to our account at the end. So this is what it looks like right here before full harvest. This this block and this block aren't corrupted yet, but this is a pretty good idea of what you're gonna get. There's already a bunch of mushrooms here, so we'll go ahead and give it a rip and see how many we get. They all fall down. They all come right to me. And I got 28 mushrooms on that pool right there. We go ahead and put them away. 30 mushrooms. I got 30 mushrooms from one pool of that, and it takes about a day or so in game for this thing to get fully grown. Now, one thing I do recommend is before you reactuate the blocks, is to take a sword or something and get rid of all of the little vine things that you got growing here. This is going to take up space where mushrooms could grow. So after you get rid of all that, or most of it, you can hit them again and let everything re-go again and you just wait. Alright, and just like that guys, we've gone ahead and built our vile mushroom farm or your vicious mushroom farm, whichever you decide to do. It's gonna be the exact same way to build it, whether you're using the purple biome or the red biome, it's really up to you. This farm is obviously nice to have in your world because it makes your world feel more full. But the more farms and the more builds you have, it obviously it's cool to fly around your world and see like all the different things that you've created over time. And it's also useful because whether you're in pre-hard mode or in hard mode, these mushrooms come in handy when it comes to destroying blocks, depending on what pickaxe you have. If you're in pre-hard mode, then it's gonna be useful for destroying the corrupt and the crimson blocks underground. And if you're in hard mode, the mushrooms are going to be useful for making the mob spawners to farm some bosses for some money and for some trophies. And also just to add some to your world to make it look a little bit better, you know? Why not have a farm for everything, right? And that's going to be it, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something new, if you tried it out, let me know what you thought in the comment section down below. Leave a like and subscribe for more Terraria content because by no means are we done. We still got many, many, many more farms to put out on this channel, as well as some other videos that I'm still in the works with, but that's gonna be it. I'll see you guys in the next one, alright?